Hi everyone, Abby here, and welcome back to my channel, or welcome if you're new. Today I'm going to be reviewing the new Lululemon Large Classic Belt Bag. But before I get started, make sure to hit that subscribe button if you're not already subscribed so you can stay tuned to all my new videos dropping weekly, and so you can help the channel grow. So I have this belt bag in the color black, and it did come out in another color as well, which you could see on screen. So the current price of this belt bag as of recording is $64 Canadian and $58 American. So the first thing I'm gonna show you guys on this bag is the logo. So the first logo we have is this right here, this metal logo right there. And then we also have this Lululemon written on the zipper pulls. So now I'm gonna show you guys all around and inside the bag. So this is the front of the bag. At the front here, we do have one very large pocket. And as you can see, there is a large storage space. So we also have this little kind of silicone Lululemon, and we have this little drop-in pocket there, as well as a key loop. Coming over to the back, we do have a zippered pocket as well. And here is that storage area. Definitely fits about my entire hand in there. So now I'm gonna go ahead and try this on so you can see what it looks like on me. All right, guys, so this is what it looks like on me as a belt bag. So one thing to notice is that this is very large, like it takes up my entire torso. You know, I'm typically a size 10, 12, depending on the item. If you're someone who's maybe like a size two, four, I think this is gonna be huge on you. Whether you like that or not is definitely your personal preference. So one thing I like about this bag is that it's easy to adjust. You can just simply pull with the strap and it will, you know, loosen for you. It's not super stiff like some other uh, belt bags sometimes are. So I like that. It doesn't take a lot of, you know, hand wrist power to adjust this bag. All right, guys, so this is what it looks like on me as a crossbody. It's definitely quite large wearing it this way as well. What do you guys think about the look here? Do you think it's too big? Definitely sticks out a lot from your chest. Does not sit flush against you. So when it comes to comfort with this bag, I do find it pretty comfortable to wear. I think that if you keep the strap nice and tight and you don't feel this super heavy, it's pretty comfortable and it doesn't like, you know, dig into your shoulder, it doesn't weigh you down. So it's pretty comfortable to wear. All right guys, I hope you found it helpful seeing me try this on today. And now I'm gonna go into the major feature highlights about this belt bag. So it's great for on the go, shopping, walks, the gym, amusement parks, wherever you really wanna go carrying a bunch of stuff with you. It's made of a lightweight water repellent fabric. It has a large 3.5 liter capacity. It also has a key loop, an adjustable strap, and I've gone ahead and measured out the strap at the absolute max and minimum lengths for you guys, which I have on screen. And the dimensions of this bag are 16.5 inches by 2.6 inches by 7.3 inches. All right guys, so now I'm gonna show you what this belt bag can hold, what I would typically put inside of my belt bag. So the first thing I'm gonna do is put my phone in there. So I'm gonna take my phone and I'm gonna put this into the inside pocket here. I'm gonna leave that by itself in the pocket. So I have a deodorant. I have a hand lotion. I got a face lotion. I have a little power bank here. I have a book, standard kind of paperback. I have with me a water bottle. Got with me a little bucket hat. That's all I'm gonna put in this pocket right here, although it could definitely hold more. Now for this pocket at the back, I'm gonna put in a highlighter, a pen, I have a hand sanitizer, chapstick, car keys, I have a dual pouch wristlet, And as you can see, it is pretty full, but you definitely could still fit more in here. For example, you could fit in an entire Ever Belt bag. In fact, you could probably fit three in here, even four. <laughs> Don't know why you'd wanna do this, but hey, you have the option. So that will fit inside of here. What else can I hold? Well, I have 
for you guys another little test here. So you can fit an entire bottle of wine in here, guys. And with room to spare, this is so much storage. In addition to that, I'm gonna put in a 500 milliliter water bottle. You guys can see this fits so much in here. For those of you out there who want a lot of storage, you wanna carry everything under the kitchen sink with you and you're on the go, I think you're really gonna appreciate the amount of storage that the large plastic belt bag here offers. So when it does come to the zippers on this bag, they work well, there's no catching, no hiccuping or anything. And then the back zipper here, also smooth, no issues. And one thing I like is that we have a dual zipper on the front here. So this is so handy if you're wearing a crossbody because if you have it on like this, you don't have to open it all the way when you need to grab something. You can just open it a little bit, grab something, take it out. And you don't have to have the whole bag open, so it reduces the chance of stuff falling out. So I have on screen for you guys some Lululemon belt bags here that are different sizes. Um, some of them are not currently available because as many of you know, Lululemon randomly discontinues stuff. So if you want a belt bag, I'd grab it now because it might not be there like a week from now, a month from now even. So right now I'm gonna be going more into a size comparison between the Evera belt bag and this new large classic belt bag. So a couple of differences here are first off the price. This goes for $44, this goes for $64. We have a one liter capacity here. We have a 3.5 liter capacity. When you are comparing this to the new Evera belt bag extended strap, they have the exact same type of extended strap, which kind of looks like this. I do have with me an OG Evera belt bag, so it has a, the other, the older strap, the one that I prefer. Um, if I hold them in front of each other, you guys can see that there is a big size difference. The large classic is definitely longer, it's taller, it's wider, so much more storage. And when it comes to pockets organization, both the back zipper pockets, the Evera belt bag has some more organization on the inside. And this one, as I showed you, we have that one pocket on the inside and a lot of storage space. So overall, I think they are both nice belt bags. I do prefer the Ever belt bag. I like that it has a cheaper price point and I like the smaller size personally. So there have been some cons I've noticed about this belt bag. The first one for me is the price. I do find it priced a little bit high at $64. I'm in Canada and $64 I think is a lot. I definitely would prefer 58 like the American price, but yeah, I just think it's a little bit too high in my opinion because it's very basic, you know. Another con for me, it's very basic on the inside. We literally have one drop in pocket and that's it. For a bag this size, I think they missed out on having, you know, some mesh pockets in there and other things because you could have had like really great organization, but we don't have that. It's just very basic. Overall, I just find it a bit too big on me. I don't love the appearance of it. I think it looks very kind of basic and too big for my liking. Another con for me is that the material here does attract pet hair, lint, dust, stuff like that very easy. There is some kind of lint and stuff on here. And I did lint roll it before I started, but it's just, it attracts that stuff so easily, guys. If you're someone like me who does have a pet, you're definitely gonna notice a lot of pet hair on it, especially. Another con for me is the strap. The strap is not great. It loosens quite easily, although it's easy to adjust. It does loosen on you after wearing it. Maybe after like five, 10 minutes, the bag would start off here and then it would sag. If you feel it really heavy, it's going to loosen on you a lot faster as well. That's something that I have noticed. And that's something that I personally do not like because when you're walking around and it's kind of moving around, it's very annoying for one. For two, if you have a bag that's super loose and moving around, there's a potential for it to cause pilling on your clothing because it does have, you know, that zipper on the back here. Rubbing, rubbing, rubbing could cause pilling. So I don't like that the strap here is not very secure. Another thing is that the strap often kind of twists on itself like this, which just doesn't look cute. This falls out of the little loops here and you get this little hanging side tail and I really don't like that. It just hits you and you walk and it's very annoying. And all right guys, considering the price, the quality, the color, the functionality, the capacity, the comfort, and everything like that, I would go ahead and give this belt bag an 8.1 out of 10. And I definitely do give it a thumbs up. And all right guys, if you're looking to pick up the new Lululemon large classic belt bag here, I've gone ahead and left the link down in the description for you to use. And if there's anything I missed today that you wanna know, just go ahead and drop a comment below. Thanks for watching guys. And make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Bye.